presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the, what is this? The Dow's only down 21. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Dow Industrial is down 70, NASDAQ is down 324, S&P is down 49, gold contract up $15, trading at 1869 an ounce. We got silver up 33 cents, $22.05 an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, $110.14 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 25 ticks, trading 120.12. The 30-year up a full point, plus 19 ticks at 141.30 and king dollar. King dollar is down 287 ticks, trading 101. 790. The euro is out here at a price point of 107. The yen is at 126.78. And the British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we bring up the SPY. This is going to get really intriguing out here, folks, and this is why. So you hear me talk about building cars a lot, right? Well, what happens is this. So right now, the SPY is down 5 bucks, right? You're trading at 391 You trade as low as 386 You can see the volume is contracting. This has gone after its lows too fast. So the energy is dissipating out of the market, selling energy, period. Uh, this is going to get interesting, man, because this is telling me, you know, we got a confirmed ABC structure down and the SPY. But the way this is trading right now, this is telling me it's going to bounce first. Um, because, he, so watch. Your first day down, let's see, 12th of May, right? You get 125 million shares. Now, granted, that, well, then we went up. We went up with 83, and we came back down, we broke it. We broke it 131. That's your ABC structure on the way down. That's your price projection, 364. Okay, great. You go up yesterday. We go up yesterday with 76. Now, what's happening is that it, this, to me, is it was trying to get the lower price today, and it's rejecting lower price. So that's telling me that you're going to try to bounce. And I suspect, well, let, let's go to the Qs for us, because I can show you how this thing shakes out. So if you take a look at the Qs, what you're going to see, now, the Qs, number one, did not have the volume when we broke the B point on Friday. You know, the, the, the B point on Friday was 284. You had volume of 120 million shares. We came down and we did 91 million. Now, we, what happened yesterday, yesterday we went up with 63. Now watch this though. So the low of Friday was 280.21. Well, I know the NASDAQ has got smoked here, folks, okay? But the reality is it only went down to 282.25. 
you're at 285, and you're gonna have a contraction of volume. And when you, what I, have, what I found is this, when you come back down too quick, which, you know, this, my take is that, you know, if you listen to me yesterday, that I thought we were gonna build cars all week long, going sideways, okay, nothing heavy. And when I say going sideways, sideways means like side, sideways plus a little up, little down, nothing heavy. This market tried to get down today, it dissipated its energy. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. If we go into the NBX 100 and we take a look at it, now the, the, the close is gonna be crucial out here today. There's no doubt about that because it's gotta basically, right now the futures are down 317. So let's take a look at this for a second. Okay, so okay, 10 o'clock, that's a bummer. Yeah, okay. Thought I could give you some decent news, but not really. So this uh, this high, that's a high volume low at 10 o'clock, man. Yeah. So what we're gonna have here, I think, is this. You're probably gonna have, you're gonna close at lows, it's gonna be light volume, which that is actually dangerous. Because what happens is that when there's no buyers and you're at light volume, it, it's, it, it, it lays up that you can go much lower. This is gonna be a wild close. You know, because when I first started talking about the S&P in the queues right now, my take was actually, let me go look at the S&P. My take was actually that you, you would basically reject lower price, but just pulling up the NQs, that's a high volume low that wants to get tested. So that's not cool, because if we finished at the lows, it would be a real problem, man. And so in the S&Ps, yeah, see the S&Ps are different, man. The S&Ps, that's 10 o'clock, and yeah, it's 10 o'clock. The S&P, the, see, the, the difference was the, the, the SPY actually tested its low, and it had light of volume. So that's telling me this close is not gonna be cool again, unreal. Gold, gold contract out here also needs volume. You can, you can see when you're looking at the gold contract that it's like, really, you're up $16, and gold's gonna hold price today, that's what it looks like. But you only have 68,000 contracts traded. What should happen is that the, you're up $16, the gold contracts should be doing about 190,000 contracts. You know, big numbers. If we go over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar, Dollar has followed through in the downside. Bottom line, down 291 ticks. You're at 101,784. Um, this, this basically sets up, uh, you know, longer term. You have the dollar, you know, I don't know, two or three months, you're down at 95. Uh, bottom line, on a longer term basis, we've been in this consolidation since 2015. The bottom of the consolidation is approximately 22, I mean 82, the top is 103. Bottom line, couldn't bust them up? Guess what? Gonna try to bust them down. Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 77. NASDAQ is off 329. S&P's off 50. Come right back, folks. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 55. You get the NASDAQ off 323. S&Ps are off 46. And if we go back to this gold contract, folks, okay, this is pretty cool. You know, one of the Tigers gave me a heads up on this. There's no doubt. So what what has happened is this. August, is, well, first, June, June has more contract volume, but the rollover is happening. So we get 161,000 in June. And the bottom line is that what you do have is uh, GC this year. You can see the roll is happening. You got the August contract, um, and August is considered the active contract at this point, even though it's 68,000, so the roll's happening. So the bottom line there is that we have volume in the gold market, which is a beautiful thing. Thank you, God. I like that. So what I want to talk about a little here is this. Oh, that's a beautiful, this is even better. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We're not going to ride these waves, okay? And don't forget, folks, every trading day, I'm in Mr. Basil Chapman. has an outstanding show, 10 o'clock in the morning. And he also has a great newsletter. You can go over to our website at TFNN. And uh, when you get to our website, you just hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side, second row down. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for a year for $11.95, which is the savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So come over here, check them out. When you get it, what you're going to get, you're not only going to get an outstanding newsletter. Basil has approximately 12 webinars out there that he's done. You can look at those. You can really understand how this market moves, how the Chapman wave moves, whether we're going up and or down. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, up and down. That's what we've been looking at for the past week. It's unbelievable. From Friday's low in the Dow, uh, that was at 30,635, we ran up uh, over 1,200 points in two days. We gave back quite a chunk today, and now the Dow is trying to stabilize. It's down 110. And one of the reasons why I said to subscribers, I'm just I'm leaning towards the positive side, but we won't know until certain conditions are met, is because if you look at the high that was made uh, back in uh, late March, where the Dow went to 35,000, uh, what was that? 35,372. If you do a vertical line. You'll see that the MACD was strong, the stochastic was strong, the unbalance was strong, the nine period was over the 14, 
Then it pulled back. But when it went to the second high, that peak E at 35,492 on the 21st of April, the vertical line was weak. And that suggested that the MACD was weak, the, sto the stochastic, the unbalanced volume. But the nine-period moving average had to wait a day or two before it crossed negative. Now what we've got is something slightly different. The low that was made on the 20th at 30,635 had weak technicals. But when we made a low on Friday in that trough D, um, the MACD was starting to improve a little bit. That's the histogram. That's those little vertical bars. And what you really want to see is that the call the 0% line goes positive, and that's usually a good sign. The stochastic was way above the high, the, the low that was made back on the, around the, the 12th of May. On balance volume was improving. So it's a, it's a really a work in process and a work in progress. And that's what we're looking at right now. Because we've come back and now the Dow is only down 50 points after being down much sharper, actually went below the gap up opening on, on Friday. What we're looking at is there's a chance that there could be a rally going into the next few days, and that's going to be really important. And what you want to see, and I'm talking about the Dow because it's, so far it's been the leading index. If the Dow is able, first of all, it needs to close decisively above yesterday's high of uh, 31,000, what was that, 31,968. Um, if it does that, that's at least a very good sign. If it does it after tomorrow without making a new high, that'll start a leg B. And in that leg, whatever happens, the MACD, if it's able finally to cross positive, and it hasn't been that way since it crossed negative just after the 21st of April, if there is a sign that the, the MACD is improving in the stochastic, which is really very weak at 20%, is able to get to the 27 or 28% area and on balance volume rallies, Finally, we can say, you know what, now we can start tackling all those resistance levels. And then, look, you've got the, the nine-period moving average right here at about 30, 31,900. You're just under that. You've got the 14-period moving average of 32,131. We haven't got there yet. Even with the rally the other day, we couldn't do it. So there's a lot of work to be done. But, you know, I talk about this, Chad, we inside track propellant line. You can see it in the daily. We went under yes. but we, each time we've closed above it. But if you look at the weekly chart, it's very prominent here. So that the move that we, we've had since Friday, going into where we are right now, at three, just almost 3.30, uh, down 48 points. This is very important because to become positive at all, you have to start seeing this very ugly candle of last week with a high of 30, what is that, 32,689 and a low of 30,635. You've got to start tackling that, and that would take you right to the pink nine-period moving average. So I'm saying to subscribers, it's a work in progress. We have some long positions in the Dow. Um, they're holding. They're doing okay right now. Um, I much prefer to see that the NASDAQ, it's not even so much the S&P, but the NASDAQ needs to get... <laughs> It, it really has to show some strength because if it, if it isn't, it'll just drag all the indices down. We're only talking about the Dow 30, but you've got the NASDAQ, which the Comp Index is 100 stocks and the S&P is 500. So this is early in the game, but I think we try to at least establish some kind of low in the 31,000 area for the Dow as some kind of support. So it's a work in progress, and I think that that's the way I'm looking at it just in terms of the short term. Once I can get some signals that suggest we've actually got a buy signal that's perhaps going to a buy mode in the daily Dow chart, I can start including. We've built up a huge cash position. I want to start using that with positions that have the chance to not be a three-day rally and then fail, but something that goes you know, for a couple of weeks, a good few weeks. So that's the position we're in right now. You know, you know, it's wild this time when I was just looking at something, Basil, is that, do you remember, you know, it's not that it's unusual, folks, but what happened this time, I was just looking, I just, as we, you were talking, I was bringing up the uh, S&P and the uh, NASDAQ Composite and the N NDX 100, and they all topped, like, within a week and a half of each other. And what has happened in the past, folks, is that sometimes it's like a couple months in between each other, Right. So that's a very, yeah, that's a very interesting observation. My, my, my observation of major lows and ma major tops is that it fans out like uh, right. March or January of, of 2000 and then March of 2000 with the S&P. So it's a down and the S&P and the semiconductors, yeah. et cetera. 
this is a little different. And that's, yeah. actually, that's <laughs> another reason why, why I'm looking at this and saying, when you, when you look, at the, the, look at this chart, if I had to tell you all the news since January that's been so horrible, and you've got the Dow from 36,952 to 30,635, that's 6,000, that's a lot of points, but, you know, 6,000 points with that kind of news. So that part of it impresses me. What doesn't impress me is that there are so many NASDAQ stocks that are just struggling, and some of them actually are making money. They're good companies. They just be, they're in the wrong trend. Listen, folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see on the left-hand side. Just hit that button, subscribe, and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 21. The Nasdaq's off 310. S&P's off 41. Now, check this out, folks, okay? Um, so, I just f kind of figured this out in the last couple days. And so... In the, in the downdraft of 1999 and 2000, right, one of the main reasons that everything went so quick, it was the first time that you had the Qs, the Spies, and the IWM. I believe that's all there was then. And I remember specifically when they started the Qs because at that point, the American Stock Exchange actually owned those before they sold them to the S&P. And I had the vice president of the American Stock Exchange on the first day that they started. Okay, so now fast forward about a year and a half after they started, right? Maybe it's longer than that, I forget, because I started on the radio at 94, and this is 98 or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, the gist of it is this. What had happened is that when the selling started, right, the selling was so fast and furious, people were like, okay, how did this happen and go down so fast? And then 
well, it was last night or night before. I meant to bring it up yesterday. I think it was the night before. I'm sitting there saying, hey, man, do you know how many more? Okay, since the, now I'm going to bring this back just to 2008. Do you know how many more ETF structures there are compared to even 2008? And so you got to remember something. Every time someone sells an ETF outside of the doubles and triples, because the way the doubles and triples actually work, uh, well, maybe they, they may even have to get sold, but I, I think most of the doubles and triples, they're derivatives off and using other banks. And I'm not sure whether they actually have to buy or sell the derivative or they're just taking the risk on the deal. Bottom line, though, every one-to-one -one ABC, I mean, ETF structure, folks, okay, has stocks in it. This, do you know that this was, I guess, it was about six months ago, what happened is that there's more people that own ETFs now than they own stocks. So, now let's talk about the present. Well, what happens at the present, of course, is that now what we have is that as you're selling, what ends up happening, of course, you sell an ETF, inside that ETF, all those stocks have to get sold. Before, we would, it was bad enough, you're dealing with the SPY, you're dealing with the Qs, you're dealing with the IWM. Now, folks, <coughs> you're dealing with all those structures. So you can see why the volatility is higher. You can also see why the aspect that you can go lower much faster because it's the chicken egg deal. You know, you sell the ETF, they're going to sell the stock. As the stock's going down, people say, okay, man, I'm getting out. They get out, that ETF goes down. ETF goes down, they're going to sell the stock. People cash in the ETF, they're going to sell the stock. You know, you get the gist of it. It's pretty intense, there's no doubt. Uh, and with that, we got to go over to Kathy Wood because this poor lady, I think, is losing her mind just a little. It, it's, this is sad because watch this. this is, there's, a, there's a story out here which she did over the weekend which is absolutely insane. Um, let me see if I can find this thing. <sighs> this might be it. I'm not... Okay, so the bot, the bot, yeah, this isn't it. The bottom line is that she came out with a tweet last night, I believe, and what the tweet said, right, was that we're going to see an expansion like we've never seen in our life because of AI. It's like, oh, man, okay, you know, she's grasping, you know, which, which is sad. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, and, you know, when you, when you look at this equity, you know, and you look at what she owns, I mean, you know, this is the classic, uh, it was Janice funds during, you know, the, the dot-com bubble, and I believe Janice Henderson actually just, uh, both CEOs just got fired. So, Jan, if you remember that, Jan, Janice, yeah, it was, Jan, it was Janice funds, that's what it was. They were the high flies that almost got as big as, as Fidelity and 99, and then all of a sudden, uh, Oh, there it is. You got it here. This one of the tigers just put this up for me. I gotta see. I can read this. Yeah. Um, yeah. It says within six to twelve years, breakthroughs in AGI could accelerate growth of GDP from three to five percent. Okay. So this is this is this is crazy. That. Well, hey, Miss. Listen. I, I never know. Maybe it's not crazy. But <laughs> this is what it says. Within six to twelve years. Breakthroughs in AGI could accelerate growth in GDP from three to five percent to thirty to fifty percent a year. I I don't know. I, I know one thing. When you when you take a look at this arc, um, it's in trouble. It's in trouble in a big way. I just did the. Uh, well, yeah. Hold it. It's let's see. It's this, that's seventy eighth. 51, that's 25. Well, it's already below that. Well, here's another ABC down. So here's 72, 43. That's 30 bucks. Let's say it's going to $14. Yeah. This is a problem in paradise. Anyway, you know, when you, it, she's, you know, oh, there, there goes the Dow positive. Dow's positive, uh, 29. NASDAQ is uh, down 274, S&P's uh, down 32. So 
this very well, you know, if this is this would be a good week to test lows. That's the real bottom line because the, the volume is going to be so light. What you don't want to do this week is go higher. What, if you're looking for a really good bounce in this marketplace, what you're looking for is kind of like what we have right here, right now. That, that's kind of how, you know, basically it went after the lows today and there's not enough sellers. That's the real bottom line. So we'll see calendar wise. Let me look at this calendar for a second. So calendar wise, you got, okay, so we have no work Monday. That's Memorial Day. You got uh, three more days this week. That should be a sideways market this week. You never know. You could, uh, you could get a good bounce uh, with window dressing because you got you to remember something with it. What also, what does end up happening is that um, in window dressing, folks, as the money comes out of our pays for our IRAs and all of this, okay, that has to get put to use or the money manager doesn't make any money on it. You know, so the bottom line is that it gets put to use, so that's money that's going in the marketplace. We can tell by these volumes right now that um, the, there's, not, there's not a lot of participants. That's the real bottom line. So let's go take a look at uh, Nike. One of our targets likes to look at Nike on a continual basis to see where the market's going. And yeah, this is Nike just rejected. This is a classic. Okay, the, the first low in Nike is 105. Yeah, 105. 105 flat, 10 million shares. Next one, 105.07, 7.6 million shares. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Because this went underneath it. Oh, yeah. This is good, man. This is good, Dan. Yeah. This is, this, this is something you want to look at, folks. Because when I look at this, this is saying to me, okay, so one, two, I got that one there. Say at least it's got to run to 115, and you might have. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah. Yeah, 115, 120. You get to run to 115, 120. What it doesn't have, and this is, see that, that first bar? This, I get this on a weekly. The first bar at 54 million at 139. Then I tested it with 31. Then I tested it with 31. That's, you know, not, if, that, if that stayed at 50 up there, then you could say I could go to 50. Where I'm going is that I'm going to lows of those numbers. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow investors is up 114. Nasdaq's down 233. S&Ps are off 22. And one of the Tigers just did remind me, thanks, uh, EKS, that uh, the Fed minutes are tomorrow. <laughs> so from the last meeting, that's going to be a trip in itself. Let's go to uh, Robert in Kansas. Hey, Robert, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. Can thanks you, for calling. Yeah. Can you put your eye on GDX and give me your thoughts? I know that Buy you it looked at gold earlier and I was just looking at the volume on GDX and it seems uh, both GDX and SLV seem light to me, but I wanted to have you look at them and give your thoughts. Let's take a look. So you get the lows 2883, the highs 41, and we take a look at this baby. And you're going to need more volume. I mean, if you don't own it, I'd buy it though. I mean, my, my take is that the gold and gold stocks have finished their correction. You know, so this you're, thing's going to really, make its way back to the it highs. Should, even if it, has, but if it has some light volume, what you'd expect is somewhat of a little bit of a retracement before it takes off. I mean, it's... <laughs> You've been doing this long enough, man. <laughs> 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 that, that, that's, yeah. Uh, the reason I said that, folks, is that what ends up happening is that for some reason in the gold stocks, everyone always wants to try to get a retracement and then the retracement doesn't come and then when the retracement comes no one wants to buy it <laughs> you <all> right <laughs> you know so i mean when i when i look at something like this i don't wait for retracement i mean the low is generated at 29 dollars you're at 32. it's like really you know gold moves three dollars gdx moves three dollars in a heartbeat you know what i mean right you right. know so i mean your top end here is 41. so you had nine bucks to the top side and three bucks to the low side that's pretty good uh, risk reward. I think so. so. Well, well, you put that together. I mean, we don't do it separately, but you're putting this together with the dollar be failing, right? And then, like, so we get the dollar laying out at what? 101. That's inside the range. And then, like I was just saying, if this, this, this market, you know, bottom line is having a tough time holding price, but the more times that this market keeps testing the lows, like right now, to me, the higher probability is that you will get a big bounce. And if we get a big bounce, the golds will go with them too. Like, I mean, you can see if you look at my screen, the golds are all green out here. It's about the only thing that is green, okay? But with so the see, overall market will pull the gold stocks they up will. as well as it'll pull them down. They will, exactly. And what happens, this is what's really cool, folks, is that when you really get to understand this, right, is that the, when you look at the actual gold stocks versus the market, they are much higher relative to the market. What happens is that as the market does go south, however, right, everything goes south except they don't go south as much as the market. Then when the market gets a bounce, they go much higher, the market goes higher. You know, that's what I've found in the metals market in general. That's what kind of normally, that's how this thing sets up. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, so the GDX, I'd buy it. That's what it comes down okay. to, you know. All right. Well, thanks for taking a look. I appreciate it. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. I think my screen's up now. Is my screen up, Al? 
Okay, good. Yeah, it just got it just got back up. Sorry about that, folks. Um, um, let me see. I can't see it, Al, with the other screen that we normally look at, though. Just so you know that. Um, let's go look at Google. You know the screen I'm talking about, Al, that I look straight forward. You normally can see it, but that's all right. So if we look at Google, what well, the question is on Google is have a high volume high. So let's go put this in. Hmm. Now this is volume off the high. 3037. Oh, interesting. No, it's a high volume high. Interesting. This is a, this one's a tough one, man. I wish I could really give you a definitive answer. Normally what ends up happening is this. See, the first high in Google, 3037. 22 million, right? And then you can see 3042. It is a higher high and it's a high volume. But at the same time, man, this, well, I know what I got to do. This thing, let me put, do this. I got to do this on a daily. So I got to see, I got to break down. We don't have to break down. We just have to see how that hit the highs. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So this is cool. You're right, man. Yeah. This is a high volume high, man. Put this on a daily. Guess what? Your first high up there was 3,037. You had 900,000. Next one, 4.4 million. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> the divergence in this market is sick. Okay, so check this out. The way this works, okay, you're not going to like hearing this, man. So when you get a high of 989,000, and then you get something that is four and a half times that level, that's not good either. It'd be like a blow-off high. You know. That being said, though, I mean, let's see what it's going into right now. Google's not going to be going out of business, that's for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying it here, though. Nope. See, would you have with Google, so picture this. We went up so fast. This, you know, this, is, this, this whole market is amazing. And if you don't understand Fibonacci, folks, you, you absolutely want to at least understand the concept of a 0 0.382 of 1, a 5.0 of 1 and a 0.618 of 1. And the reason is just so you can understand that when markets either go up or come down, they like to go to those numbers. And so what has happened here is Google right now is at a 50% retracement. And if you remember, you know, before we were coming back down, you know, I was talking about it, Tommy was talking about it, the aspect of, hey man, if you did a 50% retracement, this is gonna be pretty freaking intense. Well, sure enough, it's not only intense, it's really intense. And it looks to me like Google doesn't wanna stop. So it's like, okay, you're gonna to go to we'll do a 618 retracement. And you know, that's how these things are set up. Uh, Snap is the one that basically started the action out here today. Snap's an ABC structure down to $9. You hit a low of at 12.55 today. It's blowing away the B point, of course. Um, take a look at this. It's even a big one. Interesting. There it is right there. So your A point on this is 39. Let's call it 40. Your B point, oh my God, is 21. That's 19 bucks. Oh yeah, 19 bucks. Actually, you have $5. This is ABC struck down at five bucks. Yeah. There's a, a few problems in paradise out here, uh, no doubt about it. Microsoft, let's go take a look at Microsoft out here. Now, Microsoft is the most owned stock um, in the marketplace right now. It used to be Apple, now it's Microsoft. That's as of yesterday. So, Microsoft is flat. It's down 59 cents, so it might as well be flat. We put this... an ABC down too. This is an ABC down, man. 184, 216. If it is, 344, 270, 74 bucks. There we go. Well, it probably finished 253, 63, around there. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll have authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow, Dow is up five. Nasdaq's down 282. S&Ps are off 36. So uh, Tesla, we got to go over to Tesla. Yeah, this is an ABC structure down to 502, folks. Uh, you're getting follow through, man. You know, yeah, you volume's contracting, but bottom line is that this is uh, kind of glaring. You're down 47 bucks right now. The thing that's amazing is that just th just think about this: that Elon, you know, literally only, uh, you know, approximately what two or three months ago was selling stock at 1,250 bucks, uh, $1,200, 1,150. You're at 627. Um, this thing's making its way. You know, the, the bottom of the uh, 2021 is uh, 539. Your ABC structure is 502, but once you break 539, man, well, the 50, I see, 502 would be next anyway. 502 is the high going back on the, what's that, 9th of September, going uh, 9th of September of 2020. And what has happened, as uh, uh, man Duffy was talking about in the den, is that uh, yeah, you have many of these equities, folks, that are already back to February of 2020. That's where this thing is going, man. You know, when you take, uh, let's just go to J.P. Morgan. We'll go look at, you know, Jamie Dimon. He's trying to pump this thing up yesterday. Uh, bottom line, you know, it's up at 126. But watch this. If J.P. Morgan, man, has already dug into it, you know, the low of 2020 was $76. The high was 122. He just traded down to... 115 this month. And there's no juice in JP Morgan at all. At all. 
at all. Zero. Um, so I don't think there, there's going to be a lot of traction out here uh, at all also. Uh, Facebook. Facebook's taking a beating out there, as is um, Instagram. Is it Inst oh, Pinterest, I mean. Yeah, Pinterest. So Facebook is going after its high volume low of 169. We hit 176 today. This is this is this is gonna gap lower, man. Unreal. Always remember folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, nine o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.